Today's subject matter is Choplifter for the Atari 7800 Pro System, a game that I've had rather vague memories of playing back when I was a kid. I think one of my cousins had this game back then, because I don't remember owning a copy. All I remember was Xevious and Demon Attack. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch. But Choplifter wasn't necessarily a game that brought about many fond childhood memories. And when a friend recently found a copy at a garage sale somewhere and didn't bother to tell me until two weeks after the fact... Asshole. He was kind enough to loan me his copy so I could give it a few plays for this review. At first I could understand why this game wasn't that memorable to me. It seemed like one of those games that can be fun to play in short bursts but ultimately doesn't stick with you after a while unless you really like the game and play the heck out of it, which wasn't initially the case with me. But slowly but surely it started to grow on me and now I actually like the game, even if I'm quite terrible at it. Your main goal in Choplifter is to guide your helicopter into enemy territory, raid the prison camps, rescue the hostages, and return them to home soil. One thing that I find kind of cool in retrospect is that hostages can actually get killed off, either by enemy fire going down with a chopper or being squashed by the chopper because you can't land for shit. The game ends when you lose all three choppers or when all the surviving hostages have been rescued. Pretty simple stuff, really, but Choplifter is far from simple as you have to contend with tanks and jets and uh, among other things. Some of these even coming out of nowhere and taking you down before you have a moment to flinch. Damn. Choplifter plays pretty well, controls are perfectly functional, they work, simple to figure out. I kinda like how the helicopter tilts as you're moving forwards or backwards, adding a bit of strategy when it comes to aiming your shots. The premise is rather straightforward and easy to understand, there isn't a whole lot of deep thought that needs to go into it. Just reflexes and a bit of cunning to rescue as many of the hostages as possible. There are 64 in all in the game, and they're all... well, yeah, moving along. Choplifter boasts pretty nice graphics on the 7800. I like the parallax-like scrolling effect, giving the game a sense of perspective with the mountains and clouds and stuff. The various vehicles are rather large and sizable, even if some of them are a bit crude in design, but still, it's, it looks pretty good. Sounds kept to a bare minimum. A couple of jingles here and there, mostly gunfire and explosions, serve as the soundtrack to this campaign. And they sound about as good as you're going to get on the 7800. Not that it's a bad thing, of course. Overall, Choplifter is a pretty decent shooter on the Atari 7800. The gameplay is interesting, the difficulty is fair enough with slight hints of cheapness, and it's pretty fun to boot. If there was any downside, it was that there's not a whole lot of variety in Choplifter, at least on the 7800 side. This is the only level you'll play on in this game, there's no difficulty select like in other 7800 cartridges, and outside of the bragging rights of attaining a perfect score for a near 30 plus year old game that the larger population might not have heard of, there's not much of a reward for attaining such a feat. The game just ends abruptly when you rescued all the hostages that survived. Despite these setbacks though, Choplifter can be a fun game to play. It might take a few playthroughs to win you over, but you can't really go wrong with Choplifter. It's pretty fun.